Hello everyone, welcome to the day 4 of the IBM Flash System training. We have already covered the dashboard, monitoring and pool section in the previous training sessions. Today we will discuss the volume section. As discussed last time, we are using the IBM Flash System FS5200 in this training and the GUI interface will be same across all IBM Flash System store-wise products such as Flash System 5000, Flash System 7000, Flash System 9000, Family or SVC, V9000 or V7000. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Entering the IP address in the address bar will take us to the home page of the IBM Flash System. This home page is dashboard. Next is volume section. Volumes, the first option is volumes which will provide you the list of all the volumes that are present on your system. Second option is volume by pools. So it will provide you the list of volumes per pool. If there are more than one pool, the volumes will be created under each pool. So you can segregate or this is showing you segregation pool wise. The third option is volume by host and cluster. So it is like mapped volumes. So there are X number of volumes which are allocated to Y host. So we can view the volumes mapped to each host and the respective cluster. Cloud volumes where we are taking a backup of a volume over the cloud. Volume group is a new feature. The fifth option is host section where you can see all the hosts that are created on your system. Then if you have created a cluster from these hosts, you will get to see that under host cluster option. Then you have seen the mapping. You want to view the mapping like what all volumes are mapped to which all host. Those volumes can be seen under mapping section. And then volume by host and cluster. This is segregation. It will show you only those volumes which are mapped to Y host, X host, Z host. So as per the host. Copy service option. So there are two copy services option. One is a flash copy, other is a remote copy. So if you have created a partnership, you would be able to create remote copies in your system. If there is no partnership, you will not be able to create remote copies. Flash copy is local to the system. So whether it is a flash copy or a remote copy, you can create a consistency group or these copies. It's a container which allows you to run multiple copies at the same time. So let's say I want to take a backup of my database. Database are usually spanned across multiple disks. Sometimes it is 80 disks, 100 disks, more than 100 disks. So I want a backup of my database which is spanned across X number of disks at 11 a.m. So if I manually start taking flash copy of each disk, they all will not start at the same time. So one disk is providing me snapshot at 11 a.m. Other disk is providing me snapshot at 11 a.m. One second. Third disk is providing me snapshot at 11 a.m. 10 minutes. So they all will be at different time. There would not be any consistency in the data. I will not be able to recover my data if I need to. So in order to have consistency across the data, what I do is I put all the mappings in one container. I start the container and the snapshot happens on all the volumes. So I created a relationship between the source volume and the target volume. I created this relationship for all 86 disks. I started all 86 relationships in one go by adding them to the consistency group. So I don't need to take an action on the volume level. I need to take an action on the group level. So that's the usage of consistency group. So flash copy. The first option, it allows to create a flash copy using the default set. So I have a volume. Let's say, let me create a volume for this. I created a volume of 1 GB. Capacity saving is thin provisioned. There is only one I group. So I'll let it to automatic. So one volume being created for test 1 GB, capacity saving is thin provision, one volume in pool this, caching IO group is automatic, accessible IO group is automatic, real capacity is 2% of 1 GB, that is 20 MB, create. So this is a command that is getting executed in the background, MKV disk, auto expand feature is on. So when the host start writing the data, and it needs more extent, the volume will automatically expand. If the auto expand feature is off, the volume will go offline. 
when it will not be able to find the extent to expand. IO group is zero. There is only one IO group in the system. MDIS group is zero. Zero is the ID of the MDIS group. So MDIS group name is IBM flash system 5200 underscore store wise. Name of the volume that we specified. Real size is 2% by default. Size of the volume is 1 GB. And warning by default is set at 80%. This warning, what it does is when the volume capacity is reached 80%, that is 1 GB of 80% is 800 MB. So once it reaches 800 MB, it will throw a warning message on the system that your thin provision volume has reached 80% of its utilization. So one volume is created. It is immediately available online. I do go to copy service, flash copy. I select the volume, right click. So I have three options, snapshot, clone and backup. So let me create a snapshot. It did not ask me where you want to create, which pool you want to create, what would be the volume name. I just selected the default preset. It created a volume automatically. So what action it did? It created a volume, MKV disk. It added underscore zero one in the name. So my volume name was test one GB. So it created test one GB underscore zero one. So whatever will be the name of your source volume, it will add underscore zero one to that same name. It will create under same pool. Even if you have multiple pools, it will create under same pool. If we are using the default option, if you want to give a different name, if you want to create it under different pool, we can do that as well. So I'm showing you all the options. So it created a volume. Then it created a flash copy relationship. It says the source is 1 GB and the target is 1 GB underscore zero one. The new volume it created that is created as a target and it started the mapping first command is it created a target volume second step is it created a relationship between the source volume and the target volume third step is it started the relationship three steps to create a flash copy volume i am in flash copy page this is the default page from where i can create volumes again i go to this i create clone it again created a VDisk target volume this time underscore zero two because zero one already exists same three steps created a volume created a relationship you see this copy rate in the previous command, when we created a snapshot, the copy rate was zero. Here, the copy rate is 50. In the snapshot, there is no background copy. It will only create pointers to the source copy and will sit idle. Copy is not expected to finish ever because it is only having pointers to the source volume. Now here in the clone, we are copying the data. What we want is we want the exact replica. So by default, the copy rate is 50. We can change it to 100 to expedite the copy process there is one more option auto delete this option was not there in snapshot but this option will not be there in backup auto delete what it does is once the copy is complete let's say my 1 gb volume it started there is some data it copied the volume and once the process is complete it will break the relationship so three steps are done it created the target volume it created the relationship between the two volumes and it started the relationship started the copy so once the copy is done, it will break the relationship. It will make two individual volumes. Here it is. Snapshot, clone. I did a right click. I choose backup. It will again create a target volume. It will be 03. It will be again copying the data. Copy rate is 50. The type of backup here is incremental the auto delete option is gone so what it will do is it will copy the data and it will preserve the relationship it will not delete the relationship so that you can again restart this copy for incremental changes i can rerun the copy so whatever changes during that window has happened it will copy those changes only incremental so it created a relationship and the third final step is to start the relationship start fc map 
checking the flash copy mappings. So we created three copies. First was snapshot, other was clone, and the third one was backup. Snapshot is still at 0%. It will never complete. You start writing some data to the volume, primary volume. You start deleting some data in the primary volume. It will start moving. Because if there is any change that is happening on the source volume, you will still need that data. So only those changes will be copied to the target volume. Only the changes. Let's say I have 100 files. Out of those 100 files, I deleted one file. Or I just made some small change in the file. Now that change I need on the target volume because I took a snapshot. So those changes will be copied to the target volume. And based on the change, the percentage will change from 0 to 1% or more than 1, depending upon what changes are happening. Or if you delete the entire volume, then it will copy the end percent. Otherwise, it will never copy. That is snapshot. It is always pointing to the source volume. So there is a bitmap which is created which reads where to read the data from source volume or the target volume. If there is any changes that is happening on the source volume, it will read the data from the target volume. For that, it will copy the data to the target volume. For that, the copy percentage will change from zero to some percentage depending upon amount of changes. Clone, it is still copying. It is not completed. Once the process is completed, this copy will disappear. The third is backup. This is copied, but the relationship will stay there. This relationship will disappear once the copy process, all validations are completed, it will disappear. It will be available as two individual volumes. Now it's up to you want to use them. You want to use it for testing. You want to use it for backup. You want to provision it to another server for another file system. Now this is, we use the default preset. We can go to the flash copy mappings. I can create one more volume. One GB flash target underscore one GB capacity saving again thin create. I created one volume. So when I want to choose that it should not use a default preset, I want to give it should use this volume, this pool for my flash copy, basically source and target I want to select, then I need to take a control, I need to be responsible for every step. Here the system is taking all the steps, I just selected a preset, I want a snapshot, I want a clone, I want a backup. System created a volume, system created a relationship system started the relationship here i will be taking the control so very first thing is the requirement for the target volume so i created a target volume manually so there is one target volume that is created now going to the flash copy mapping section create flash copy mapping select the source volume my test 1 gb is source select the target volume there is only one target which is possible because other all four volumes are used. One is already a source, three are already a target. This flash target, I click add. So this relationship is created once I finish the process. Next, what kind of flash copy you want? Snapshot, clone, backup. Let's say I want snapshot. By default, the background copy rate is zero. I want clone. The background copy rate is 50. Two Mbps means 50%. This can go up to 2 Gbps, 150. So let me say 64 Mbps. You want it backup, then it will be incremental. You want it clone, then delete mapping after completion. So instead of 2 Mbps, I am selecting 64 Mbps per second. Same thing goes for the cleaning rate. Next. Do you want to add the flash copy mapping to a consistency group? If it is a single volume, single mapping, you don't need a consistency group. But if it is more than one volume which you want to run at the same time, you should have it added into the consistency group. So no, do not add the mapping to the consistency group. Or yes, add the mapping to the consistency group. Here you will need to have a consistency group pre-existing. Finish. 
I created the volume target volume in the previous step. Here, I'm creating a relationship in this step. It is not starting the relationship yet. So my relationship is created. It is in an idle state. Start. So every step is being taken manually, independently, individually. There, all three steps happened in one go. So it is copying. I'm changing the background copy rate. By default, it was 50. 50 is basically 2 Mbps. I'm changing it to 1 Gbps. So now 1 Gbps is 140. Value is 140. Maximum it can go up to 2 Gbps. The value is 150. Let's see. So we just created one mapping manually. It completed because the copy rate was selected as 1 Gbps or 64 Mbps there. So here you see the background running task. It shows flash copy operations. There are two which are currently running. There is one which is completed. So the one that we created just now is completed and there are two which are running. 0, 1 and 0, 2. Target. This completed and it's now individual volume. It is no more part of a flash copy mapping. That was a manually created volume. 